air pressure air pressure air pressure is the force exerted on objects by the weight of tiny particles of air although air molecules are invisible they still have weight and take up space how do we know this if you weigh an empty balloon and a balloon filled with air which one will be heavier the balloon with air will be heavier because air has weight we can quickly determine the approximate temperature outside simply by stepping outside we immediately know whether it is cold warm or hot the air surrounding us puts some pressure on all the objects surrounding us the air also puts pressure on our bodies but unlike temperature we cannot feel the air pressure around us why is this let us find out we don't feel the pressure because our body balances the pressure there is an equal pressure from the inside of our body too that balances out the pressure outside that is why we don't feel the pressure of air on our bodies you know that the temperature decreases at high altitudes what happens to pressure the pressure also decreases at high altitudes why does this happen air pressure is defined as the weight of the air in a column stretching from the surface of the earth to the top of the atmosphere as we go higher and higher in the air column that is altitude what do you think will happen to the pressure of air the amount of air above us will go on decreasing so the weight of the air will also decrease so as we climb higher in altitude the air pressure decreases air pressure is highest at sea level it gets lower and lower as we go up tall mountains how does air pressure change with temperature when the temperature of air decreases it contracts as the molecules of air move closer to each other when this happens the amount of air in the area increases so when it is cold the amount of air in the area increases then the pressure exerted by the air also increases when temperature decreases the air pressure increases when the temperature of air increases it expands as the molecules of air move further away from each other when this happens the amount of air in the area decreases so when it is warm the amount of air in the area decreases then the pressure exerted by the air also decreases when temperature increases the air pressure decreases so in areas where the temperature is low the air pressure will be high the polar regions have low temperature that is why the air pressure in the polar regions is high so in areas where the temperature is high the air pressure will be low in the equatorial regions the temperature is high so the equatorial regions have low air pressure the air always flows from a high pressure area to a low pressure area you know that polar regions have high pressure so where will the air in the polar regions flow it flows towards the areas having low pressure that is the equatorial regions the flowing of air from polar to equatorial regions has created high pressure and low pressure zones on the earth these zones are called as the pressure belts you already know of three pressure belts one at the equator and one at each of the poles 
the air that is heated at the equator rises in altitude and starts moving towards the poles. As it reaches between 25 degrees to 35 degrees latitude in each of the hemispheres, it begins to cool down and descend. Thus, there is more air in these regions. This creates a high pressure belt between 25 degrees north and 35 degrees north and 25 degrees south and 35 degrees south latitude. The air in the regions just below the poles between 55 degrees to 65 degrees latitude in each of the hemispheres gets pushed upwards due to the earth's rotation and friction with the earth's surface. Thus, there is less air in these regions. This creates a low pressure belt between 55 degrees north and 65 degrees north and 55 degrees south and 65 degrees south latitude. This way, we have seven pressure belts on earth. Think and discuss. How does air pressure change with altitude? How does air pressure change with temperature? What are pressure belts?